Hi, I'm giving a mom's review on these Day Better LED strip lights here on Amazon. So let's get started. So for the price, I got these for about $57. Let me just dim it a little bit. You can see. All right, so that's dimming it. Um, easy to install, about five foot five. If you have two people, great. I was able to do this by myself though in under an hour. I did have some issues because my one side or my daughter's ceiling does incline. So when it came to trying to move along the strip lights along with the ladder, that became difficult. I mean, I was able to do it, but I think it would have been a lot more efficient if I had an assistant. I was really impressed with the adhesiveness that's originally behind the LED strips. It does come with an extra thick adhesive tape if you need it. My fear was that this one may end up um, stripping your paint off the wall. So I didn't want to use these. Um, and I was hoping that the original one would be able to adhere on its own, which it did. So and uh the colors on here are pretty awesome let me just change this to auto so you can take a look at the lights here and um this does change with bass sounds when you clap when you have it on you know something that's not a steady light on these lights do change um and especially if you use that music icon there then it'll end up changing. Uh, the downside, which I knew was gonna happen, was the black cord. I did see some installation videos where some people had um, you know, issues with this black cord being so visible. Thankfully, my daughter does have um, one wall that is not flush, so I was able to go ahead and hide that. Let me back up here. From certain angles, you can't really see the cord, but I was able to hide it there. You know, some people were able to hide it behind a curtain or in the corner, but it's just so visible. Uh, maybe one thing the manufacturer would consider is to make a white cord. The 50 foot lights do split off. So it's two 20 feet strip lights. Uh, I was able to go ahead and use two ports. I had one strip go in one direction and connected the other port and had the lights go in the opposite direction. So that was really convenient. Make sure and measure I must have done something wrong because I thought I would have at least seven feet of excess light strips. But as you can see, it didn't even connect at all in the back. It didn't even meet up. So hopefully my daughter doesn't plan on moving that box ever <laughs> or there would be a bald spot on there. Um, one of the other downfalls is the remote. Um, like I said, it functions fine, but if you have some sort of an obstruction, I think this armoire would be considered an obstruction. And if I were trying to change the remote's not going to work. So if I'm at a certain angle, then the remote will end up working. So if I would have known that I would have made sure this cord was in a different position, but it's kind of too late now. So my daughter will just go ahead and have to live with being able to just use her remote at certain angles in her room. But overall, I'm pretty impressed with these LED lights. Um, from a mom's review, I give it a thumbs up.